On Monday, Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg joined Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot at O'Hare International Airport to announce that construction will commence on new terminals. Buttigieg, who has served as the head of the Transportation Department since 2021, was asked point blank about the issue of shrinking seats for passengers. In recent years, airline customers have become increasingly concerned about the size and width of their seats. The sensitive issue has caused a number of viral moments from passengers deemed ill-fitting of their assigned space or having their allotted space encroached upon by others. What, one more quick one for the secretary. Uh, you know, one basic need for passengers is to have enough room when they sit in their airplane seat. And you know, the, the, there's been concerns about shrinking seats. I believe there's some um, uh, minimum seat standard rulemaking going on. Can you s update on the status of that? Yes, yeah, so uh, that, that is a process based on safety, and the FAA has that uh, based on the uh, uh, concerns about uh, what level of shrinking seats could have an impact on safety. I don't have anything to say that's determinative uh, about that beyond the process that's played out. There is though, uh, there's a safety level which is a floor and then there's customer service concern uh, which goes beyond that and that's where we think it's uh, an example of the importance of transparency so uh, customers know what uh, different airlines will do, that not all airlines are alike and it's something we're bearing in mind as we uh, continue to expand our new customer service dashboard and consider other uh, elements to introduce to it in addition to the first round, which was those things about what to expect if you get a cancellation or delay. Julian Cruz, WGN. Uh, Secretary Buttigieg, welcome to Chicago. And uh, just wanted to ask you, we've done some stories recently with flight attendants uh, complaining about the uptick in assaults that they've experienced on board airplanes. And they've pointed to certain things uh, regarding no-fly lists that the airlines might maintain about belligerent or violent passengers and complaining that that no-fly list doesn't get shared between airlines and the end result is you might have an individual who assaults, allegedly assaults a flight attendant and then they get put on another flight the next day. Is there anything that your agency can do to try to deal with this situation? Is this something that's in the works? Yeah, first of all, let me reiterate that it is completely unacceptable to mistreat a member of a flight crew. And when we see these cases of unruly passengers, uh, they need to know that they are not only uh, harassing a flight crew, but endangering entire, entire aircraft full of passengers. For that reason, the FAA has uh, adopted a very strong stance, uh, and a number of these unruly travelers have been held to account uh, with uh, major penalties. Uh, so uh, we want to make sure that the deterrence is there, and I think that's part of why, overall, compared to the worst days, we've seen a drop in, uh, in the number of those incidents, although any number above zero is unacceptable. I do think it would be uh, constructive for the airlines to talk about uh, how to establish some sort of uh, data sharing process that would enable them to let one another know uh, about these issues that they've had with the passenger, but uh, obviously that's not an area where I can tell the airlines what to do. I do think it would be something worth exploring. Thanks, Secretary. Thanks, Mayor. That's a wrap, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.